Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a little look at fixing problems with device manager error codes. I had written a story about it. I realized that device manager error codes all mean there's something wrong with a device or hardware easier on your computer. So there's a few things you want to do. It should go without saying that updating your drivers is tech support 101. I like driver booster. If you don't like driver booster, go to driver updaters right here. Click by popularity and consider slim drivers, snappy, or one of those. I personally have been using this for years and I'm content with it. So update your drivers because what they'll tell you is your error codes will say the drivers might be corrupted, Windows can't identify the hardware, device can't start, can't find resources. So there's a couple things you do. So if something comes up that says it's the word drivers in it, just do that first. Let's say it's your video card. There could be a driver issue with something related to your video card and everything needs to be updated so that they all communicate with each other. So some of the other things to consider after that is that we can go to the Windows S key, which you know hopefully is search. Start typing in device and you'll see your device manager. So the next possibility is we'll start with um, I'll start with a display adapter. So once you find whichever piece of hardware is giving you problems, right click on it after you've done the drivers and it didn't work and click on uninstall. All that's going to do is remove it from here. Now you could get in trouble if you do it with a video card because your screen could go blank. Rare. And if it was a mouse or a keyboard, all of a sudden you can't move around. So just click the uninstall and if the system locks up on you or you lose your keyboard or mouse, hold your power button down for 5 to 10 seconds. Let the computer shut off the hard way and turn it back on. Windows will now redetect what you have and hopefully your problem will be solved. Once Windows redetects it, you might want to update your drivers taking us back to the other one. So a little bit of a pain in the butt, but again, Windows will tell you to update the driver software. I, I, I've never been a fan. So the other thing you can do after all this is go to restore point mine is disabled but just to give you an idea we're Windows S again and you start typing restore until you see restore point because I am shut off you would go right here where it says system restore now the catch with this is you need to know when did you have the problem a week ago a month ago and is there a restore point that will roll you back before that that could fix your problem I don't know that it's a permanent fix but it keep you in business there's your registry. I'm not a big fan. You really got to have a specific error that says there's something wrong with a registry. But keep in mind, we could go back to device manager. If it's a registry problem, uninstalling the device might fix that too. So uh, I'll put a link in here to this whole story about all these error codes and what to fix it. And if you scroll to the bottom, there's a guide in there on how to restore your registry. Okay, another one is rebooting. Now, once again, you have to read the error code. If it says something about a restart's needed, you reboot. So hopefully you figured that one out. And finally, my least favorite is updating your BIOS. Again, we're looking for an error code that specifically says there's something wrong with the BIOS or the firmware or it thinks that's a problem. You want to go to your hardware manufacturer's website, whether it's your motherboard or your computer, and look up BIOS updates and read and see if it's a fix specifically for that because... There's no point updating your firmware or your BIOS unless you have to. And that's about it, leaving us one last possibility. And that is that whatever hardware you're having problems with, it's gone. It's broken. So we don't live in a time anymore where I can just run into my closet, most of us, and especially doesn't apply with laptops. You can just walk in, change the hardware, and uh, ta-da, it works or it doesn't work. So that's another tough one. That's absolutely last ditch. The hardware is gone. So again, if it's a sound card, video card, you could quite easily have a bad piece of hardware. So that covers pretty much every possible fix if you came up with a device manager error code. I'll put the link, as I mentioned, below so that you can go ahead and read up on it and see all the different stuff. We've actually broken the whole thing down, each and every code, because while they're all very similar, they're all a tad different. I don't know if I have this in here or not. <laughs> that's a different one but it's in here so here's all the device manager so as you can see I'm working on it only because each one of these is clickable so there's each code and what the error message is and as you start reading through them you'll find they're almost all the same some some are update your driver some are 
uninstall it, some are both, some are update your bio. So we've been writing them up just individually because while down here at the bottom, as I mentioned, here's what we're looking for. While all these five or six things will probably fix your problem just in case you get stuck, we want to be able to help you out with a specific answer. So, All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. As always, uh, click on the channel, subscribe. We've been picking up some people. And we really do appreciate that. And hopefully we'll see you next time.